Hi guys, Franz here from Snakes of Namibia and today we are releasing the infamous Western Barred Spitting Cobra or Zebra Snake. Now this is one of the four Spitting Cobra species we find in Namibia um, and this is the only one we find within the central reaches and northwestern reaches of the country. Now typically these snakes can grow up to a max length of about 1.9 meters. Uh, usually you find them in rocky outcrops. Uh, distribution wise in Namibia they're found throughout the central and northwestern parts of the country marginally extending into the east. The interesting thing about zebra snakes is, is that they evolved this very unique method to spit their venom and how this pretty much works is they have these very large uh, compressor muscles around the venom glands. As soon as they squeeze down with these compressor muscles that forces the venom out and the fang on the inside makes a 90 degree bent. As soon as it hits this bent, the venom pretty much is projected out. Now these guys can spit up to about three meters and they're incredibly accurate. Most of the time they will hit you in your eyes. I think scientists are still trying to figure out how exactly they know where the eyes are. Um, but yeah, they, there's a whole bunch of theories ranging from, um, you know, movement, reflection of the eyes but we're not hundred percent certain as such yet now these snakes also feed on anything that they really can overpower including other snakes rodents um, as well as birds now this is probably the most distinctive of all of the venomous snakes we have here in Namibia and I mean it's quite hard not to be able to identify them so if you look at zebra snakes they usually have these dark black and yellow crossbars on the body Typically you'll notice that they have a dark black neck band and also that the head is brown in color. Now it, it's also a snake that has a really bad reputation because they tend to bite a lot of people at night while they are asleep. But why this tends to happen um, is because we suspect that they mistake people for food. And this is a study that we are busy writing up and which will be published quite soon. And our data shows strongly that none of these bites are related to aggression or anything to that extent. So zebra snakes also have a very potent venom. They have a incredibly potent cytotoxic venom with a degree of hemotoxicity. So if they bite, they cause exceptional amounts of swelling, uh, blistering, obviously tissue damage. But what we've also noticed is that these snakes do cause a bleeding tendency and acute kidney damage as well. Again, zebra snakes are quite shy snakes from our research. These guys usually just try to get away and most of the time when we're out here tracking them, they tend to move off or they're usually hiding. So yeah, zebra snakes, one of my all time favorites.